Welcome to the Royal Promenade on the Allure of the Seas in January of 2024. It is a four-night cruise out of Port Canaveral, Florida. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel. It's embarkation day, and so the promenade is very busy. As you can see, you got uh, some of the crew members in the yellow vests trying to uh, you know, be at the key stations, especially guest services in case people have questions. Uh, remember, this is the time where everybody needs to go do their muster drill, and so you've got a lot of people that need uh, assistance figuring out where their muster stations are and just how to do various things or go to certain places. And so you got the crew members on full alert here looking to see if they can help the passengers. You got the Voom internet station right over there. One of the first things that everybody has to do, of course, is get signed on to the ship's Wi-Fi. And uh, so the Wi-Fi is an interesting deal because it is uh, provided by Starlink and it works quite well depending on what you're going to use it for. If you're going to be doing uh, emailing and social media and stuff like that, especially on your phone, it works quite well. If you're going to try to work from the ship and depending on what your work entails, you might have some issues. I try to do live streams on YouTube and Facebook, and that is usually a mixed bag because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But it's one of those things that on embarkation day, a lot of the passengers need help, uh, you know, figuring out like, how do I sign up to the ship's Wi-Fi? How do I get connected? Some passengers don't pre-purchase their Wi-Fi, and so they get on the ship and then are being sort of given the sales pitch of why they need it once they're actually on it, you know, and you have the same thing going for liquor, right? Uh, not everyone purchases drink packages ahead of time, and then you've got crew members that are trying to sell the drink packages. Uh, the dining reservation packages, the, the dining packages now for the specialty restaurants, that's becoming quite the thing that is available pre-cruise. And then, of course, once you get on the ship, especially on embarkation day, they're trying to talk you into like, you know, specialty dining packages here and there. You've got a lot of the regular uh, sales stuff going on, like the Royal Caribbean logoed merchandise and uh, things like that. And then, of course, Cafe Promenade there in the background is always busy. You can get uh, little snacks and some coffee and stuff like that over there. Sorrento's here on the right is your stop for pizza. And, of course, Sorrento's is always busy. So that's kind of one of those things, especially on embarkation day. And we are right around lunchtime. And so you'll have some passengers that instead of going to the Windjammer for lunch, might just pop in over here for Sorrento's for some pizza. See, there's right there that little purple station. That's where uh, one of the pa one of the uh, crew members is trying to sell the uh, the the restaurant reservation package <laughs> for the specialty restaurants. So you definitely have that going on. And so it's just a very busy day. You see everybody's luggage, their carry-on luggage with them. The staterooms do not open until 1 p.m. Royal Caribbean seems to have set that in in kind of stone now. Uh, we've seen that. Uh, post pandemic they have stuck to 1 p.m and so they've kind of made that the deal now so whenever you go on real caribbean cruise 2024 and beyond expect that one o'clock on embarkation day is when the staterooms will open anything before that and if you get on the ship like right now you're going to be carrying your uh, luggage with you as you sort of start to learn the layout you see all the liquors for sale all of the watches all of the usual stuff that is available on the Royal Promenade and on Embarkation Day. It's all there uh, on display. So one of the beauties of Embarkation Day is you start to learn the layout of the ship and kind of get settled in for your cruise, even if it's a short one. And so that's what we're doing right here. And uh, this is January 2024, Allure of the Seas.